Dear guests, welcome back to the channel. Today, let us run through some useful mental calculations we can do. Although modern technology in aeroplanes have made flying easier, these few rules of thumbs can come in handy. First on the list, you are ready for descent but air traffic control is holding you up. You end up really high. One thing you can do if the situation permits is to slow down. By having your speed low, when air traffic controls clears you to a lower level, you can start bugging up the speed and increase your rate of descent. Yes, the speed brakes is available to you but if you are able to calculate your profile properly, you might not even use it. Example, if you are at 30,000 feet, just multiply by 3. So 30 multiply with 3, you have 90 nautical miles to lose. If you are at 20,000 feet, then 20 multiplied by 3, you have 60 nautical miles to lose. So sequence your flight plan and see how many track miles you have on your FMGS. If you are at 300 knots and need to reduce your speed to 250 knots, you will increase your track miles. So rule of thumb is 10 knots for every 1 nautical mile. So if you want to reduce your speed by 50 knots, you will need 5 nautical miles. Well, let us use an example. You are flying at 30,000 feet at 300 knots. Your target is to be at 10,000 feet at 250 knots. So you have 20,000 feet to lose and 50 knots to lose. 20 multiplied by 3 equals to 60 nautical miles. 50 knots equals to 5 nautical miles. So you need 65 nautical miles to get your desired height and speed. Having open descent mode gives you 2,000 feet per minute rate of descent. With half speed brakes, you can get and with full speed brakes, you can get up to rate of descent. Let's say you want to determine the rate of descent that you need to maintain to lose your height. For example, you are at flight level 270, 27,000 feet, traveling at 240 knots. Air traffic control asks you to be at flight level 210 in 20 nautical miles. That means you have 6,000 feet to lose. So let us begin the calculation. 6,000 feet divided with 20 nautical miles is 300 feet per nautical mile. Remember that your speed is 240 knots. That means at 240 knots, you will cover 240 nautical miles in 60 minutes. So how many miles in one minute? 240 divided with 60 gives you 4 nautical miles per minute. So take 300 and multiply by 4, you will get 1,200 feet per minute. Your rate of descent have to be 1,200 feet per minute to be at flight level 210 in 20 nautical miles at 240 knots. Moving on to cabin altitude on the climb, this is not a rule of thumb but rather an observation. 10,000 feet, your cabin altitude is roughly at 1,000 feet. At 20,000 feet, it is at 3,000 feet. And at 30,000 feet, it is at 5,000 feet. Just remember 135. This is just a rough way of checking that your pressurization system is intact. Let us move on to the next calculation. The formula for 3 degrees guide slope is your ground speed multiplied by 5 to get your rate of descent. So if your ground speed is 140 knots, multiply it by 5 and you will get 700 feet per minute rate of descent. That is why most of the time on the approach to land at 3 degrees glide slope, you will see your rate of descent approximately 700 feet per minute. So question, what is your rate of descent if you want to get the 6 degrees glide down? Do comment below if you know the answer. For example, you are on track FPA and you are high on profile by 200 feet. The rule of thumb is, 1 degree glide will give you 100 feet glide down over 1 nautical mile. So if you need to lose 200 feet, just increase your track FPA by 2 degrees so that in 1 nautical mile, you will get back on profile. Some bonus calculation for you. 